What is going on? Matt back here with another tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the zoom in through like an object transition in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. It's fairly simple. Let's hop into the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Now we're on the computer. So first things first, you wanna import your clips and start a new sequence. So once you have your clips in the timeline, you wanna identify the clip that you want as the first one. So for me, this is it, right? So we're gonna be masking the next clip into this little poster on the wall. So to do that, there's multiple ways. So we're gonna be doing it with the add frame hold way. Right, so I want it just to be, he's just looking, right? And then to make a cut right there. Go one frame forward, cut, right click, and then press add frame hold, and then just drag that out for however long you want, and then drag that up. And then bring your next clip that you're gonna be transitioning into underneath that, right? So it's pretty much just gonna be playing, 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 and then it's gonna be held. And then that's where the transition's gonna be. So then you wanna go over to your effects panel and just type in crop, right? It should be under transform. And then just drag that onto the top frame hold, or the frame held, the held frame layer, I guess. The frame, the layer that you put the frame hold on. There we go, okay. Then go over to your effects controls, right? Scroll down and you want to just create a square. Depending on what shape you're doing, you might want to do something different, but I'm just going to use the square. So you click the little square, it's going to create a mask, right? Make sure your playhead's at the very beginning of the held uh, frame layer. And then just pretty much make this little thing fit the dimensions so I'm gonna make this a square and make sure that it fits that exact thing right so next it's not gonna be moving at all because it's a, a held layer so that actually makes our job a lot easier so then just go over and then just make left 100% or you can do top 100% do whatever you want so make it 100% and now you see that it kind of shows what's underneath it. So let's just scale this down, make it fit the size. We're scaling down the clip that's below the um, masked layer. All right, so we just wanna make sure that this fits the dimensions of that. You're gonna wanna click the stopwatch to keyframe that. And now go over to the frame held layer, press scale and position, and then do it again later in the timeline, right? Cool. So now we're just gonna add an artificial scale to add like the zoom through transition, right? So just keep scaling up and repositioning it until it goes directly through it. It's a little tedious, but this way is extremely easy. There are other complicated ways, but doing the frame held ways definitely saves you a lot of time. So you don't have to go frame by frame and making sure that it stays proportionate to the area that you're trying to mask and all that, because that can be very tedious. So once you have that, just drag it like all the way out. Um, you can make it for however long you want. If you want it to be a quick thing, you can make it quick. I think we have it for one, two. so it's 10, 11, 12, like 13 frames we have it you can make it whatever you want so now we have to change the bottom clip right because we had to scale it to make it fit that but now as it scales in it's like oh you have to change the uh dimensions of it or the uh the way it fits within the frame right so we're just going to make the scale go back to 100 and make sure that we play with the timing of that should be good. 
that's cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much the basics of that. Or you can go in and mask it like that, and then you can just you can do a bunch of different things. So we can do like uh, we can keyframe the top, right, and then we'll have it like kind of like go down and do like a little transition thing into it. There's so many different techniques, but this is pretty much just the basics on how to like just do like a frame hold um, masking transition. But yeah, hopefully you guys learned something new in today's video. If you did, please leave a comment on what you learned and drop a like. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace.